It can be very startling if you suddenly find that the desktop icon for Sage 50 is missing. Many customers worry that their company data may be lost or inaccessible. However, Sage 50 saves its company data in a separate location than its program files, so company data is never impacted by this issue and the missing icon can be easily restored. There are three different problems that can cause the Sage 50 desktop icon to disappear. Either the icon was deleted or not created during install, the program was partially uninstalled, or a security program or antivirus removed the icon. The first and most common cause is that the icon was simply deleted from the desktop accidentally, or the option to create a desktop icon was not selected during installation. This is easily remedied by copying the shortcut from the Windows Start menu. To do this, go to the Windows Start button in the lower right-hand corner of your desktop. Find the orange shortcut for your current version of Sage 50 Accounting, which is usually inside a folder by the same name. Note that the Windows Start menu is sorted alphabetically by default. Once you find the icon, left-click on it and hold the mouse button down while you drag the icon to the desired spot on your desktop, then release it. This will create a new desktop icon for Sage 50. You can also pin the Sage 50 icon to your taskbar instead. To do this, right-click on the Sage 50 icon in the Windows Start menu and select More. Then select Pinned Taskbar. The second possible cause is that the Sage 50 program was partially uninstalled. This can happen if an error or loss of power interrupts an attempt to uninstall, reinstall, or update Sage 50. To resolve this problem, you will need to uninstall and reinstall Sage 50 on the affected computer. Doing so will not affect your company data. To uninstall, go to the Windows Start button and in the search box type appwiz.cpl, then press Enter. This will open the Programs and Features window, which lists all programs installed on your computer in alphabetical order. Scroll through the list until you find Sage 50 Accounting. Select it, then click Uninstall at the top of the list. Follow the on-screen prompts to uninstall Sage 50, and if you are offered a choice between repairing or uninstalling, select Uninstall. Note that the uninstall may take some time to complete. If there are other years' versions of Sage 50 US Edition listed under Programs and Features on your computer, you may need to uninstall those as well. After the uninstall process completes, you will need to reinstall Sage 50. To do this, go to support.na.sage.com and select Sage 50 US or Sage 50 Cloud United States as your product. In the search box, type Download Portal and press Enter to search our knowledge base. In the results, select the link for Sage 50 US Edition Download Portal. Click the link to download the full product for your version of Sage 50. When the download page loads, scroll down and click the Download button and the installer will download to your computer. If your browser asks what you want to do with this file, select the option to save it. Some browsers, such as Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, will display downloaded files in your browser window, and you can open the installer directly from there. Otherwise, you can press the Windows key and the E key on your keyboard at the same time to launch Windows Explorer and browse to the location where your download was saved. By default, this will be in the Downloads folder in Windows. When the installer launches, select the folder location where you would like the installation files to be extracted, or just click Install to use the default location. If you've previously installed this version of Sage 50, you may be asked if you wish to replace files during the extraction. Click Yes to All. Click through the installation prompts. The field for your serial number should fill in automatically, but if it does not, click the link What is the serial number for my product for help finding your serial number through the customer portal.
click Next. If you are installing Sage 50 on a standalone computer, server, or a computer that uses Sage Remote Data Access, select Yes when asked if this will be the only computer running Sage. If you are instead installing Sage 50 on a workstation that will connect to the server over a local network to access company data, then select No for this prompt. Once you've made your selection, click Next. On the Install Options screen, make sure that the option to add the Sage 50 shortcuts to the desktop is selected. You may also select the option to add the Sage 50 icon to the Quick Start toolbar if desired. This screen also displays the program path and the data path, which are where program files and company data files for Sage 50 will be saved. These will usually fill in with the correct defaults, but you can browse to the folder location specified for the data path to verify that your old company data is there. Your company data folders will have an abbreviation that consists of lowercase letters from the names of your companies. When you're satisfied with the options on this page, click Install and wait for the installation to complete. After the installation is complete, the desktop icon should be back, though it may be in a different spot on your desktop. You can left-click and drag the icon to a new location if you desire. The third possible cause for the Sage 50 desktop icon being missing is that your antivirus or security program misidentified Sage 50 as a threat and attempted to quarantine or remove it. To resolve this, you will need to temporarily disable your security software and then configure it to prevent future interference with Sage 50. A list of websites, ports, and files that must be allowed through security software can be found on our knowledge base by searching files to allow through firewall and antivirus. If you are unsure how to disable and configure your security software, you may need to consult with an IT specialist or reach out to the company that created your security software for support with this step. Once the security software is configured, you will need to uninstall and reinstall Sage 50 to restore the desktop icons and ensure proper functionality. You can do so using the same steps from the previous section. First, uninstall Sage 50 from the Programs and Features screen in Windows. Then go to the download portal on the Sage Knowledge Base for Sage 50 US Edition and download the full product installer for Sage 50. Extract the installer and click through the prompts to install, making sure to select the option to add the Sage 50 shortcuts to your desktop. When the install completes, the Sage 50 desktop icon should appear on your screen again.